she puts her hands up and the cops have their weapon saying, I will shoot you in your face could because she just had the pot of water rebuking them, which can all be considered acts of aggression. And that pot of boiling water can be considered a weapon at this point. And this is the key crucial point. You guys, she then ducks. She ducks down below the counter to where you can no longer see her on the body camera. You can no longer see her or her hands. Okay. That is a huge no, no with the cops, especially when they have their guns drawn. You do not take your hands out of sight. They need to make sure that you do not have a weapon in your hands. They had every right to exercise deadly force. You lying son of a, that never happened. He grabs the silver pot with red and white cooking mittens. The pot, her hands are in the air. You are a liar. Oh yeah, Diddy got a podcast. So I want to go ahead and say at the beginning of this video that I stand corrected. Uh, the video cam, the body cam footage has now come out of the shooting officer. And it does appear that Sonya Massey tossed the pot of water. I didn't know that. And I, I, don't, I wouldn't even say that I jumped the gun or other people jumped the gun. Because from our angle and with the information that we had, we couldn't see that she tossed the, the, the pot of water. However, if you watch the video, it doesn't really change my analogy. In my opinion, it's still murder. I wouldn't call it premeditated, but it's still murder. This is why. She says, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. That was enough for him to draw his gun. Why are you drawing a gun on her? You draw a gun and walk towards her. She crouched down, lets go, hovers down. You walk over the counter with your gun, and then as you coming over, she talks about it. Now, this is, from what I understand, I think she's diagnosed as schizophrenic, whatever it may be. It appears to me that she's trying to protect herself. The average person wouldn't do that. But if you're a cop, why are you walking up on her? There's no reason to do that. If you're trying to de-escalate the situation, stay where you are, have her to stand up, walk away from the water or something. You walked up on her. Which to me appears like you're trying to instill fear, fear in her. That just made no sense to me. However, I will say that changes the analogy a little bit and gives him a better argument in court. But I'm still going to let this video play through because the video that I'm reacting to with this attorney, she only had the information that we had as well. So her analogy, I still stand by everything that I said. All right, man. Round two. Let's get it. Um, welcome back to the show. If you're new to the show, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. I appreciate you for being here. I'm not going to take too much of your time. Last video, I covered um, conservative and former police officer uh, Brandon Tatum, who still goes by the name Officer Tatum. I think he should take that name off, um, especially after his crazy take. Uh, but, but we covered his, his horrendous take on the Sonya Massey shooting and how it was justified what the police officer did to Sonya Massey. If I... <laughs> threaten this person and if I, they know I'm serious that'll deter them from trying to kill me right so he pulled a gun and she dodged totally totally justified what the? psychologist what so, the? yeah I probably what struggle the? with psychology he can't keep getting away with it I don't know how anybody with a brain um, and two eyeballs can look at what happened and justify that I have white conservative men I have former police officers um, in my comment section I have attorneys in my comment section identifying themselves to be these things because because they typically side with the other with, with police officers and said that th this was just flat out uh, murder. And many of them are arguing and I argue that it was premeditated because he said what he was going to do to her and he did it. But I digress. Well, here we have an attorney. Well, kind of an attorney. She's in law school to become a defense attorney. Also justifying what this police officer did. I'm so interested to hear how or what you're going to say to justify what happened to this woman. I'm so curious. I'm going to play you all the video. Then I'm going to come on the other side, on the back end of the video. And piece by piece, I'm going to annihilate everything that she said. Because this was too easy. 
I mean, everything she said was embarrassing. Um, and you notice, I want you to pay attention to three things in this video. I want you to pay attention how at no point in time while she's talking about what happened to Sonya, does she play the video footage while she's talking about it. You know why? Because it will disprove everything that she was saying because it was all nonsense. The second thing I want you to notice was how articulate and how confident she was when she was talking about this. Why is that important? Because a lot of times people will talk very articulate, very well spoken, and very, very confident which will make people more inclined to believe that they're that they know what they're talking about in this case this woman sound very confident and turned out to be lying about everything she was talking about i'm gonna play you the clip and i'll be back on the other side i don't care um i think that it needs to be discussed and so sonia massey was a black woman um who was and killed in her home by police she actually called the police herself because she thought that there was intrude, an intruder outside of her home. So there's body camera footage, at least from the one officer. One officer did not turn his body camera on until after. The one officer did have his body camera on the whole time. So yes, there are some issues with that, but that really does, doesn't have any bearing on how this played out. So she called them, they came, they, they, they searched, they couldn't find anybody or locate anybody. And they were actually getting ready to go when they saw a vehicle parked in her driveway. Uh, I'm not sure all of the details surrounding that. Ultimately, I know they began to ask her about it and they actually um, entered her home at that point and asked her for some identification. Again, I don't really know all the specifics behind that, but it was still a very light conversation. She was responding to them, talking to them. They were, they were talking and having a normal conversation. There was no indication of what was about to unfold. Um, so the the body camera footage i mean it's not all direct this is coming in bits and pieces but um eventually it gets to the point where you see her standing up and there's a pot of boiling water on her stove so um i'm, I'm sure you guys have seen the videos i don't i don't have a video to link into this right now i may try to but um so the the cop tells her to go shut the boiling water off because he doesn't want a fire to happen to which she replies, okay. So she goes over there and she, she shuts the stove off. At this point, she picks up the pot of boiling water um, and she begins to walk with it towards the cops. And the cop asks her, what are you doing? Still in a lighthearted manner. And at this point, she's still walking in their direction and you can see the cop on the body camera turn. He takes his front side away from her and she's like, why, why are you turning? And he's like, cause I, I I don't want hot water to the face. And at that point, she says, I rebuke you. You can't really hear it too well, but that's what the, the transcripts say in news articles. Um, and so he's like, huh? And at that point, she says, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. He said, you better not. And at that point, they draw their guns. At that point, she puts her hand up. So there's a, there's a counter, an island in between her and the cops. At this point, she the the pot is back on the counter she puts her hands up and the cops have their weapon saying i will shoot you in your face could because she just had the pot of water rebuking them which can all be considered acts of aggression and that pot of boiling water can be considered a weapon so a pot of water boiling hot water can be considered a weapon that can cause very serious and permanent damage to somebody and could potentially result in death if they get second or third degree burns and those turn septic and cause an infection. Um, so first, that is the first weapon that she had in her hands. Like I said, she was walking towards the cops. There was absolutely no reason that she needed to take this pot of boiling water and walk with it off the stove. She could have just pushed it onto a different burner. She could have just set it on the counter and left it there, set it in the sink. She did not need to walk in the direction of the cops. So that is considered the weapon. She told them, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus while coming with them with this boiling hot pot of water. Okay, that could be considered an act of aggression, which is why the cops drew their weapons. At this point, no shots have been fired. So she then has a weapon drawn and he says, I will shoot you in your face. Okay, so at this point, she is visibly scared. She sets down the pot of water and she puts her hands up. She still has oven mitts on. At this point, and this is the key crucial point, you guys, she then ducks. 
she ducks down below the counter to where you can no longer see her on the body camera you can no longer see her or her hands okay that is a huge no-no with the cops especially when they have their guns drawn you do not take your hands out of sight they need to make sure that you do not have a weapon in your hands so right there when she ducked down and they could no longer see her hands and no longer determine okay. and no longer determine that she was not a threat and did not have a weapon, they had every right to exercise deadly force how they did. She if she would have just froze and she would have just stayed still, she probably would be alive today and if she wasn't then that so when cold-blooded murder occurs. But right now the, the facts of the case are still coming in, and this is going to go to trial, but people are so quick to get their emotions in this type of case, and I get it. I get it. it it's, it's an unfortunate, unfortunate event that really did not need to happen. There were errors on both sides. The cops never should have had her go shut the stove off. They could have just done that themselves. There was two of them. Yes, but... That's not Very what simple. listen. I just want to interrupt for just a sec to say if you are enjoying this video, I ask that you please hit that like button. If you enjoy my content, if you want to help the channel, please hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It help pushes my video out there. I would really, really appreciate it. Also, subscribe to my second channel if you have not subscribed yet. Link is in the description. The first thing I want to I want to point out is that you said that she said at the very beginning of the video, uh, the officers noticed on the side of her uh, her house there was a car, and then at some point the officers came into her house. But I don't know the story or own all the details around that. Well, may, maybe you should know the details around that before you speak on it. Um, the, it's actually fairly simple. The officer who ended up shooting Sonya Massey invited himself into her house, and not only that, but his body cam footage, conveniently enough happened to be off he came into our house and he asked her for her id why are you asking her for her id that makes no sense she called you all she thought somebody was outside of her house why are you iding her also why are you talking and speaking to her in a condescending manner from the very point when she first came to the door why are you not talking about that part from the moment she came to the door they were not talking to her like she was a victim or a potential victim they were not talking to her like she is the one that called them they was talking to her like she was a potential suspect. That made no sense. He was already speaking to her in a condescending tone as if he was upset. The next thing is, which is one of the biggest things you said in the video, which is a flat out lie. You said she went over to the boiling pot of water after the cops asked her to turn it off. She got the pot and started walking towards the officer. You lying son of a... That never happened. She never walked towards the officers. You are a liar. Lady, you are a liar. The fact that you came out with this video and felt confident to just go with this narrative. First of all, she went to the, the pot of boiling water and she stepped to the sink. Notice I said step. She didn't have to walk across the room to get to the sink. The sink was right next to the stove. She stepped over to the sink. The officer stepped back, which he was already a distance away from her. But if he wanted to step back, I don't blame him. That's fine. She asked him, why was he stepping back? He said, I don't want to get burned by that water, that steaming boiling water that you have. She said, oh, and she said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. What are you talking about walk towards the cops? Lady, he, she never walked towards the cops. Another thing is you said the officers drew their guns after she said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Why didn't you focus on that part? Why did they draw their guns there? No, no, no. Why did they draw their guns there? She's standing in the kitchen. They're in the living room. She's, she's attempting to pour water over into the sink. She's actually with, with mittens on at that. She's out rebuking in the name of Jesus. She didn't make any sudden movement. She wasn't yelling. She wasn't aggressive. She didn't threaten him. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. He said, you better effing not. I'll shoot you in your effing face. What cop talks to civilians like that? Why did you not talk about that? Why did you not talk about how aggressive he was speaking to her? Why did you not address that part? I thought that was very interesting and very convenient. You jumped over that. Why didn't you say anything about that? Why did they draw their guns? Explain that. That made no sense. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. What's the problem here? You also said that the pot of water was her first weapon. What do you mean by that? Her first weapon. First of all, yes, a pot of boiling water can be considered as a weapon because it can do serious damage. In some cases, irreparable damage to people. I understand that. She wasn't a threat. She didn't threaten them with the water. She didn't come after them with the water. She wasn't even close to them with the water. What are you talking about here? Another thing is you said first weapon. Where's the second weapon? 
Where's the third weapon? What are you talking about here? You said that she dropped down with her hands up in the air and got to a point where the officers could no longer see her hands. That is a big no-no. That's what you said. You liar. You're lying again. Here's the video. That never happened. He grabs the silver pot with red and white cooking mittens. The pot. Her hands are in the air. That never happened. And even if it did happen, the pot of water is on the countertop, where it was the entire time, by the way, while she was talking to them. It's on the countertop. She dropped down with her hands up apologizing. This is not a threat. This is not a woman who never did anything wrong, by the way. And she's apologizing. And they still shot this person. Why did they shoot this person? I'm still trying to hear the reason for that, lady. You sound like an idiot. I say all of that to say people like this are manipulators. People like this are not all right in the head. Look at how she was smiling the entire time she talked up about this situation in this video. A person lost their life that was completely innocent, that has family and loved ones. And she talked about this situation as if it was a game, as if it was funny, and just lied her way through the video. Like people like me and other people out here in the world aren't going to call you out. What? Hop in the comment section and give me your thoughts, man. Another thing is, I noticed that conveniently enough, once again, you never mentioned how after the shooting, the cop didn't even try to render aid to Sonya. He he told his other, he told his partner that he can go and get his equipment, his medical kit if he wants, but there's no need for it. Why didn't you talk about that part? Who does that? And how he called her crazy B-I-T-C-H. Why didn't you talk about that part? That's very convenient that you didn't talk about that, lady. Aren't you going to be an attorney? Can you believe that? Oh yeah, Diddy got a podcast.